The table looks great. This baking event will be good publicity for Jacob's chef career. That and his giant click-clack following. Have you seen it, Boris? With food, you've got to touch, smell, taste. You can't eat a phone. Well, if you could eat a phone, Jake would make it taste delicious. Hey there, y'all ready for an international cookie collage? Already set up, son. I've got the dough and fillings, poppy seed, and prune. We're just making hummantashen? I know it's Purim today, but my brand is international food art. Jewish cooking is international. We'll bake together like when you were a kid, right, Jacob? Dad, you know I go by Jake now. Jake, excuse me. What do I know? I'm only the one who gave him his name. Just putting my own spin on it. You know, as in food art by Jake. <laughs> Mom likes it. Surprise! It's me, your mother, in case you didn't recognize. Mom, your hair! That's right. I'm a whole new identity. I'm done being Blitzmobile Bubby serving matzo balls and advice from a food truck. <laughs> Who knows what I'll do next? Nice sign, Jake. Hey there, Josh. Step back, ponytails. My brand new sand toy is off limits. Sure, sure. I just wanted to warn you. That clump of babies over there looks like they're about to blow. And you know what that means. The grown-ups will make you share. But those babies aren't even looking at me. Angelica, I can't deal with babies. They make no sense and they smell like milk. Lucky for you, I'm an expert. I can make sure those babies stay far away. For a small reward, that is. Josh's toy is really neat. I never noted sand could do so many things. Bad news, babies. Josh doesn't want you in the sandbox anymore. He sent me to get rid of you. But we only got it to dig up one wormy. Yeah, Todd Jr. needs a friend. Okay, fine, don't listen. But what's your plan when Josh comes over here to tell you himself? Run away. How do we start? <laughs> I'm excited to make Purim cookies. What are they exactly? I'm trying to figure it out from the ingredients. They're kind of like pocket pastries. Pocket pastries? <laughs> Hamantaschen are special cookies. They come with their own story. You see, it was food, a feast actually, that saved the lives of the Jewish people at the time of Purim. Ooh, I don't think I've heard this one. No one tells it like my Bari. Dad told the story every year when we were growing up. Yep, so you don't have to keep telling it. Well, actually, I do. We can always find new meaning in an old story. Plus, I found the Megillah that you made in Hebrew school. Talk about going way back. Way back is where our story starts. In the ancient empire of Persia, there was a city called Shushan, and King Ashiavarish lived with his wife, Queen Vashti. Oh, the king loved to throw parties and show off his wealth and entertain his guests. <laughs> Look at me, everyone! <laughs> Ta-da! How does he do it? Extremely clever, your highness. You know it. Now go get Queen Vashti. She's got to see this. Wonderful idea. But, but, but it's late. Uh, she was in her feeding pajamas a while back. I'm sure she's asleep by now. Who cares about bedtime? She has to obey the king's royal commands. <sighs> Unbelievable. Last week I had to get up and watch him squirt milk out of his nose. Not doing it again. Nope. Night-night. He's really big on the royal commands, and he is the king. So, I'm the queen. He's not the boss of me. What's he gonna do if I just don't listen? Ride for Vashti. I have instructions to drive you out of town. Way out of town. I'm gonna need those back. <laughs> Mr. Boris, are you making 
cookies? Hello, Joshua. Come sit. Hear the story. Then we'll bake. It's okay. I'll keep the babies away. Don't worry about anything, especially your brand new sand toy. And so the royal advisor put out a search for the next queen. Who wants to be the next queen of Persia? Live in the palace, wear a crown, free fruit mothers, every flavor. Uncle Mordecai, I don't want to go to the palace. I want to stay here. Oh, don't worry, Esther. You're way back here. No one will notice you. You there. Congratulations. You're the new queen. Hop in. This is all happening for a good reason. What is it? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but you'll be fine. And remember, you can't let anyone know you're a baby. They've never had one living at the palace. Try to be like a big kid. So, don't act like myself? But I like being me. Here, take this to have something from home. Just don't let anyone see you using it. There goes one brave baby. I could get used to this. <laughs> Your royal milk, my queen? Oh, uh, thanks. Oops. I'm just used to a sippy cup. Uh, sipping my cup of milk. <laughs> oh, it is so nice to drink milk like a big kid, which is what I am. Definitely not a baby. <laughs> Esther had to be very careful to keep her true identity secret from everyone in the palace. Now, the Jews lived in peace for many years, but it only took one powerful enemy to put them all in danger. Oh, such a shame, isn't it? When people have to hide their identity because they're afraid of what will happen if others see who they really are. Terrible. Can you tell the part where the food saves the day? I'm telling, I'm telling. Patience. Now, Mordechai came to visit Queen Esther every day at the palace gates to see how she was doing. One day, he heard two guards planning to put something in the king's food to make him sick. And then the guards said they were gonna mess with the king's food. But they didn't know Mordechai was watching. Wow, this Mordechai fellow just saved the king's life. We owe him. But Mordechai didn't even get a royal thank you. Because the king forgot about him when someone new came along. Someone who wanted power. Haman. I pronounce you Haman, second in command to the king. Thanks, Kingy. From now on, you won't have to worry about babies bothering you. Babies? I don't have any problem with babies. Yet. Gotta watch them. Those babies are always up to something. Everyone, bow down to the great and powerful Haman! Hey, you! Bow down! Kent, I'm a baby. Babies don't bow down to people, not even to kings. I said bow down. Let's go and make it snappy or you'll be sorry. No, I can't break the laws of my baby people. Do what you must. Haman was mad. And when Haman was mad, someone was going to suffer. And now for the food part. Are we going to see this Purim cookie on your next click clack? You know, it's a little narrow for my brand. I'm branching out. Oh, it's good to branch out. But a tree with many branches has to have deep roots. I see what you did there. <laughs> Back to Purim. Haman was so angry at Mordecai not bowing down to him, he wanted to punish all of Mordecai's people, the Jews. I need to talk to you about something important, King. My royal driver bet me I couldn't make free in a row. There's a group of people here in the kingdom who aren't like us. <sighs> Sunk it! 
going for two. They drink from sippy cups. They take naps. Some of them even wear diapers. Know what I mean? They can't be trusted. <sighs> two! Yes! Now for the win! So can you just sign this decree real quick? Saying that all babies are getting kicked out of the kingdom on a day of my choice? Sheesh. So much signing things in this king job. Thanks, King Sir. I knew you'd see it my way. Wait, Haven! You left your quill. Huh? What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Minka, I know you said you weren't giving advice anymore, but I... For you, I'll make an exception. Now, how is that lovely Kira? Why didn't you bring her? Oh, she had a meeting. Librarians never rest. But seriously, I wanted to ask you. You and Boris always seem to have fun together. What is the secret to a long, happy marriage? The secret is patience, laughter, and love. And when it comes down to it, 90% of marriage is just yelling, What? from the other room. You want to help, Dad? Me? I'm no chef. I'm just going to sit here. I'm not going to say a word while you teach. I'll give him 10 seconds. First, we use the glass to make a circle. Don't forget the filling. Six seconds. Now, here we've got the traditional poppy seed and prune flavors. What if we try some of the fillings that you brought? How about jam-filled Linzertachen? You know Linzer? You think you're the only one who can branch out? Okay, everyone pick a filling and put it in the center of the dough. Dibs on the peanut butter cups! Now, fold over one side, then pinch to make a triangle. You want to hide the filling really good in there, like a surprise. Aha! You just said something huge! Pinch up the other side? No! Hide the filling! That's the Homantoshan connection. Purim is about uncovering what's hidden. Well, oh, what happened? Yeah, yeah, come on, keep going! Here. So, the king's advisor had to read the decree in every town. And so it is ordered. All babies will be banished from the kingdom on Monday, the 13th of Adar. That means pack up and scram. Esther, we've got the problem. Haman wants to get rid of all the babies in the kingdom next week. Uncle Mordecai, that can't be true. Just look around. Today we had Icy Pop after lunch. I herded the king's advisor. The king himself signed Haman's decree. Oh, he never reads anything he signs here in the palace. It's all good. Well, what if this is the reason you're queen? You can speak up and save our people. Well, but why me? You're one of us. If we're not safe out there, you won't be safe in here forever either. And the king will listen to you. I'll think about it. I do have important royal duties to take care of. Is Her Majesty ready to don her royal water wingies for this afternoon swim party? I'll be right there. I'll talk to the king. After just one turn on the water slide? Okay, fine. Ahem. again. Queen Esther, is there something you want? Up to half my kingdom. Oh, that is very generous, but I just wanted to invite you to a little feast tomorrow night. Can you come? I love feasts. Can we have that yummy chicken on a stick? Kebabs? Sure. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> a party, huh? With just the king, queen, and me? <laughs> Take some of these to Kira. Bringing homemade cookies shows you're serious. Minka, you said no more giving advice. I hear kibitzing. That night, King Ashiovarish couldn't sleep. Oh, I can't sleep. Read me my favorite book, the one all about me. Your diary? Yep, that's the one. I remember something interesting happened last week. What was it? Hmm, let's see. Mordecai saved your life? Yeah, that. 
Oh, what a hero. What do we do for him again? Mm, nothing. That's not right. Call for my second in command. Yes, King Sir? Do you sit right outside the door? Maybe. Hyman! I just heard that someone of great importance hasn't been properly thanked for something wonderful they did for me. We wouldn't want to ignore someone of great importance. Glad you agree. Go get Mordechai. You're in charge of honoring him. Excuse me? This is what the king does for the person he wants to honor. I'm not doing this. I should be the one on that horse. What about the king's orders? Fine. You'll be gone soon anyway, along with all the other babies. And I'll be back to being the important one. <laughs> but it only took one brave person speaking out to save the day. Now the kebab, anyone? There's something I have to ask you. And I thought, better on a full stomach. So true. Pass the dipping sauce. Now tell me what I can do for you. All I want is... to survive. Huh? Are you unhappy with your life here? I, I love it. But there's a whole group of people in this kingdom who are being treated badly. What do you mean? They're being kicked out, sent away. The date is already set. Who would do such a terrible thing? Someone right here in this palace. Right here in this room. Heyman? So we get rid of a bunch of random babies. Boo-hoo. Why do you care, Queen Esther? Why do I care? We should all care. Babies are a part of Persia. And letting everyone live here in peace together is what makes this kingdom great. True words never spoken. I'm glad you said that, King. Because... <sighs> I, too, am a baby! <gasps> You're a baby? I had no idea. That's right. I, Queen Esther, am a baby. And I come from a long line of babies. Babies are my people. So if these other babies have to go, then so do I. I don't believe it. I need proof. Like this sippy cup I brought from home? Heyman, you tried to get rid of the queen and all the babies of Persia? As a reminder, he did sign the decree. But I wasn't paying attention. You tricked me. Look, I saved my life. Esther's my queen. I love the baby people. I'll just go ahead and step out for a sec while you two talk this over. Step way, way out. Out of my whole kingdom. Forever. Kebab, my queen? Thank you. I can eat. And so, instead of the Jewish people, it was Haman who had to pack up and go. All because of brave Queen Esther and Mordechai. That was an incredible story, full of hidden meaning. Almost as incredible as this apricot habanero hamantash I made. Full of hidden chili. I love Purim. And on Purim, kids dress up in costume and wave their groggers to drown out the name of evil Haman. And we give baskets of food and treats as gifts. Dad, I, I want to do more with my food brand. I want to feel more connected. This humantashen made me realize I want to keep telling our story with food. What a joy to see my son proud to show his roots. We should all be. I've been hiding my roots. I like who I am. A Blintsmobile bubby who gives out food and advice. Gray hair and all. Aw, oh, Minka, you are that and more. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Me too. Can you make me an appointment with your hairdresser? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know what? Somebody's got to speak up to Josh. I'm going to do it. There goes one brave baby. Hey, Josh, 
How come you're letting Angelica play with your new sand toy all this time? She's not playing with it. She's guarding it. it from who? Us? Yeah. She said you were going to make me share. That's why she kicked you out of the sandbox. She said we had to run away from you. Oh, Angelica! A word? Uh-oh. What are you doing hanging out with a bunch of babies? For your information, I like babies. And they told me some very interesting things. Fine, here. You won't have Angelica Pickles to protect you anymore. Three turns for all of ya. <laughs> Just for today. Story only goes so far. <sighs> Welcome to Food with a Story. I'm Jake, and these are my parents, Boris and Minka, here with today's food story, Hummantaschen. Hi, we're the parents. So this is Click Clack? They don't need the whole Magilla. Oh, look that way, Mom. Tell the story. Everyone should hear it. Ah, hello, everyone. You see, it was food that actually saved the lives of the Jewish people at the time of Purim. 